I see the water following the creek. Yeah, it's kind of below that, so it just started to turn into there. Just come around this bowl here.
want you guys talk for you, make sure I can hear you. Yeah, I can. Good. Thanks. Okay, on this headset, if you want to talk to me, all you do is push that little button one way or the other, and uh, we can talk. Uh, are, can you tell me a little bit about why you called us? Yeah. Yes, um, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, Saturday, I hiked to St. Paul Creek. Okay. There was that long descent. And when I got, by the time I got to the campsite that night, my knees, especially my right one, was just fried. Okay. But I took some ibuprofen, and I had little knee issues in the past, and take some ibuprofen. I've been going very slow, just enjoying the way. I've been pushing it. Yesterday morning when I got up, they didn't feel good at all. The knees, the knees, the knees, or knees or just the knees. Was it swollen? Were you getting swollen going on? I don't think there's, well, there must be some. I, I didn't pay much attention, to be honest with you, but okay. um, I thought, well, maybe if I walk slow and okay. hike, was I'm, I'm going to interrupt you one minute so yeah. I can grab your pack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I hiked out yesterday morning with a group with the, the tent just getting to Micah Lake, and I, I barely made it, yeah. barely made it, and I set up camp up there, and then a storm came in, and I had to move down here, and I fell, and but I managed to set up camp and have dinner, and I got this morning, I could hardly even stand up. I just, I just don't think I can walk out. Yeah, it's it. just too far. It's too hard and too far in both directions for me to walk out. Okay. It's all good. I'm glad you called us. Uh, now, are, are you taking any medications? Are you open? Okay, you're all good with that? I think so. All right. I took some Percocet yesterday, but it's like 10 years old. I don't yeah, your back's like mine, so it's like, okay. <laughs> you carry it for... Oh, very good. Well, we'll get, you, we'll get John back on board here, okay. and then we'll go. I'm not sure where we're going to land, but we'll uh, connect you with the Forest Service to make okay. arrangements to, okay. to, do you want an aid, do you want a, an aid car to meet you to take a look at it? Are you okay to drive, or what will you see? I'd like to if I could get to, if I could get to a clinic, you know, maybe uh, just to get some steroids or something. I don't know. Back on the And then I could drive, yeah. Okay. Well, let me, uh, let me get, talk to the pilots and I'll let them okay. know what you told me. Okay. Rise and train. Bill, uh, uh, well, what is good? I'll fill you in. Go ahead. Okay, she's, uh, she's been suffering the last couple of days from severe knee, knee pain. And uh, she fell last night. We're trying to move out of the way of a storm up here, so her knees are kind of fried. She would like to, once we land, if we could get her to a BLS unit so they could take a look at it. Because um, she's not sure she can drive with it the way it is. Well, the eight car meet us on that day. Where's where she parked at? Karen, where are you parked? I'm not parked. <laughs> Just 
no pad found for it. Fox, and we are clear, Michael Lake, with one subject, uh, request you notify, uh, uh, aid, an aid car to meet us at Taylor's Landing for, uh, uh check out this subject. Fox, just a little breathing normally. Fox, I'm racing. Robert, did you copy? I'm going to take your Still want to know that, Bill. Is that still want to know conscious alert breathing normally? Fire will. Start to head to snowpack. Uh, subject conscious alert breathing normal. Breathing. Karen, are you warming up if you want to get a little more heat back here? Come down a little bit, Kevin, about 6,500 or so. What kind of, what, what kind of overnight temperatures are you getting up here? Very reasonable. 50s. 